Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and today I will show you how to draw Jim Lee's Superman. So grab a pencil and a piece of paper cause it's time to draw! And we start right off with a helpline for the upper body, that's about the middle of the chest. Then we add the right shoulder and attach the arm. This pose will show the Superman from the side. It's a very cool and very epic pose and very well known pose from Jim Lee. He also did the Batman in this one. And the part we are doing right now is the gesture drawing, which is very important to get right. So take your time with this one. And you can see uh, we are already done with the upper body and there we need to draw in the legs. Um, I like to draw I like to draw the underwear all the time, even if I don't draw a character like the Superman who actually wears his underwear outside. Uh, because it's a very, very good point for me to focus on and then I know where everything is supposed to be. Um, you can see the legs, we draw a little bit like an action figure. Uh, then it's easier to, to know where the feet should begin. The fists are a little bit bent inwards, uh, a circle for the head and a, a, straight, a straight line uh, for the face and he also got a very big neck and pay attention the ear is about in the middle of the face and the neck because Jim Lee especially does that where he, he draws very strong necks. Now we erase everything down a little bit because now we want to to go in with further details um, and yeah draw in some muscle groups and we start off with the shoulder it's always easy to start off with the muscle group where you are where you are um, looking at first and which is the nearest to you and in this case that's the shoulder the tricep is very big as you can see and there's the bicep after the bicep there's a little bit of a small line, uh, a, a straight line, and also a straight line from the elbow down. And yeah, his arms are quite long drawn. I draw them not as long, but it's when, when I do my, my drawings, they, I usually tend to draw them a little bit shorter. Because overall my figures are mostly a little bit more bulky. But that's just a style choice and there you can see this is already the chest and that's also very important you can go bigger with this one if you like uh, this is a little bit more of a lean posture but looks pretty cool i tried to stay true to to the jim lee one as much as possible um there's the belt buckle buck buckle belt buckle blah, blah, blah. sorry <laughs> And of course, uh, where the trousers are holding the belt. And you can see already, it already kind of looks a bit like the Superman. It's a very epic pose, chest out. And what's also quite Superman-like, he's standing up there and watching over his city. Also kind of like the Batman, but the Superman does it in an even more heroic way. And here again, the big neck muscle. Uh, from the ear, we draw a line so we know where the eyes are. And also, this line also defines where the little bump is uh, in between the nose and the, the forehead. Cleaning up a little bit in between is totally okay. And also, if you see a mistake, Sometimes it's you can you can just draw over it again and then pick the the right line But with a delicate matter like the face you should be uh, wor working properly and Erase it if you make mistakes, so you won't you won't mess up some lines later when you're doing the inks We will do this one in inks. It's a quite easy pose and it will go quite fast uh, even very beginner friendly I dare say like I said earlier make sure to get the gesture drawing right but then it's it's a walk in the park from there on um, yeah doing inks later like I just said and you could also go ahead and stick to pencils but 
it's it's not so complicated in this one and we also will use a lot of strong blacks and if you should possess a brush pen it's easier to go with the inks because it takes way less time to fill those out of course. I zoomed in a little bit earlier so you can see properly where where everything belongs when drawing the face but I will zoom out later again so you can see the overall drawing to get your proportions right. That's very important. And you can see I'm erasing a lot right there but it's just the way it is. You have to take your time and in this case I wanted to take another pencil. I just grabbed one I could find on my table. It's an H pencil. The other one was a 2B. The 2B is, as you might know if you watch my videos, is the one I like to do my gestures with because it's a soft lead and then you can uh, use a very fluid movement um, but for a thing like the the face where you already have to deal with a lot of details it might be too rough the fine the lines might be too thick and then it's easier to use an H pencil the other reason I'm uh, I'm using a 2B pencil very often is, as you can see here, the H pencil is very hard to be seen when filming. Even though I don't have a bad setup with the light, I always try to, to make a very good video quality happen with, with my settings. But still, I don't, I don't use a lot of pressure when drawing. And so those lines are a little bit hard to be seen, but I think it's good enough so you can follow along. And yeah, I will I will draw with the other pencil as well. And it will be different once we will use the Strathmore 200 series bristle board because it's a little bit more sh a shiny white, and you will be able to see properly then as well. But like I said, it's. It's good to be seen, but just wanted to explain one more reason why I like to use my 2B pencil for my videos. The hair is pretty simple. Um, just follow the, those lines. There's like like some small areas and we will do a lot of strong blacks with those and just use a, a bit of a, uh, a glance. And what's also very important, uh, there's the cape coming in, and what's also very important, on the chin, there's a small line where you can see that the, the chin is attached to the neck. Make sure to get that right. That makes a, a cool difference. And that's it with the face. There's my better to be seen 2B pencil again, and now we're drawing in the Superman sign. It's a little tougher than doing from up front because now we only see like two thirds of the sign which might make it make it a little bit harder but you will be able to do that you can see I always have to uh, pause and take a look at the reference because I want to get that right this would be easier when I would draw it out of my imagination just in my style because then I would just, uh, I only would have to figure out where I think some things will belong and I kinda have to do that when I do a redrawing like this as well but I also have to stay true to the original art because that's what we want to achieve here and so I have to take a look very often. For the Superman sign you just do a double line and then you draw the S in. The S a little bit like a snake and you just have to study it and do it exactly like it is here. It's not really hard to do but like I said it's a little bit easier when you when you can draw it from from the front directly. Those signs on the chest they can be a pain on a lot of on a lot of characters. It's also not. Uh, there are also some Batman signs which are not as easy, especially if you have to draw them from a weird angle. Sometimes I really need to take a lot of time to get it right. That's it's funny. Do you think? Yeah, the gesture is done. 
in a few minutes and then you, you use the same amount of time for just doing the little bat on the chest. But that's the way it is and we need those because they look really cool. We are done with the sign and this is the, the chest now where we draw in the ribs and he draws them different than I usually do, which is a challenge of course. But you can see, I try to adopt everything and so should you, should you want to redraw a Superman from Jim Lee. You could always go ahead of course and just use the gesture and only use what you like especially from this drawing and draw it in your own style or draw it in another style that's also working. If you are familiar with David Finch's style you could also go ahead and do the rendering and the, the muscles and everything in David Finch's style and if you do that you might you might have an outcome that will look very much like Jason Fabox stuff because he's a pretty much a mixture of those two at least for me I, I see a lot of Jim Lee and a lot of a lot of David Finch in his drawings and that's that's a fun experiment so if you are familiar with David Finch's rendering style and where he puts his muscles then feel free and try it out just use a pose like this from Jim Lee and then render it in the style of of David Finch and see if it looks like a Jason Fabok drawing. I bet you it will have a resemblance. There we're at the fist. With the hands and the fists with Jim Lee it's always hard for me because he he has a really good way to draw hands but it's not my way. I, I am struggling with his hands a little bit when I have to redraw them, but I guess I get it. I, I got it done good enough here. But like I said, he has he has some weird understanding of hands and actually anatomy, which looks so great, but it's really hard to find out how he does them. Would be interesting for me if you have experience. Did you did you try to? to draw like Jim Lee? Did you try to draw his hands? Was it easy for you or was it hard? Let me know down in the comments. I would really be interested in interested in how you guys are putting up with stuff like this. And since you're down there, make sure to leave a like. That would also help out my channel, so thank you for that. Always nice to have some interaction. Always nice to see what you guys are thinking of and especially some questions like these they they pique my interest quite a, quite a lot and of course if you leave a like then that's also good for for the youtube videos then they will get shared more often from from the algorithm and then we can get bigger people we need to grow because when we grow and when my channel grows, I have more time. I, I will be able to have more time to put in my YouTube videos because then finally I would be able to earn a little bit more money and could go less with, with the other stuff I have to do. So that would be that. More time for YouTube videos means more videos for you. So feel free to share my videos on social media. That would help me out tremendously as well. You can see the legs are pretty simple, not, an, not much bumps and overall um, I guess a lot of you guys will draw a lot in David Fincher's style as well as I do and you can see it's not as jagged. Uh, the forms are a little bit more round compared to David Finch. Uh, which is also very nice, also a very nice way to draw. Um, but that's just a thing I want you to be aware of that might help out a lot. Then we need to draw the another, another hand. Even just the little one does not not showing it's not it's not showing a lot of the hand, but still 
a little bit of a struggle. But that's the way it is when you want to draw like Jim Lee. You have to do those hands. I was also thinking about doing a video on analyzing Jim Lee's body structure and anatomy because it's it's really something with this guy. He, he really figured out some really cool stuff in a weird way and I think it's definitely worth to take a closer look. Especially I would like to do it because I think I, I myself would be able to learn a lot from him when analyzing him. So that's a reason why I'm pretty sure this one will happen because First of all, all these things I do, mostly I do, be of course I want to get, I want to get clicks and I want to make you guys happy because I really love my audience, but I want to get better at drawing and all that helps achieving that might be a video here on this channel. But that's a win-win situation because you guys usually want are drawing and want to get better at drawing as well, so it's also good for you. That's the way it goes. The boots are done and we will also draw this gargoyle. He's standing on a very modern gargoyle, which is also pretty cool. I personally prefer the Finch-like ones, uh, where, like, like from the old Gotham City style. But yeah, to be fair, Superman doesn't live in Gotham City, so in Metropolis... We have some more modern stuff in the city and you can see I had to pause a little bit more because I had to I had to take in everything this is it's like a, a falcon or something like that looks pretty cool but it looks like I said very modern I would even say it's it's out of some sort of metal an iron bird he's standing on very straight lines, really cool design. These lines are kind of the wings from this animal. So, quite easy, quite easy to do, just follow along. Not much to tell you there. But it's very important to do a little bit of a background. What I didn't do with the background with all the buildings would actually be a good exercise, but this I, I just wasn't able to put more time into this one. Because like many of you know, I'm actually a tattoo artist and I work a lot as a tattoo artist. And I told you already in one of my previous videos, I am working on a book as well at the moment. Uh, it's a pretty cool one and I will give you some more information on that soon. Uh, I really like I really like uh, working on, on pages. Uh, it's kind of new to me. I, I did a few pages here and there and a small story here and there, but uh, I never took it very seriously. Um, in this case now I want to do the whole book which will be 22 to 24 pages. It's a second issue of, of a book that's already existing but like I, like I said earlier I will tell you more about that in a video. Not that long. You will not have to wait that long. I will be able to, to do a video about this one quite soon I guess. Um, but anyway, that's just the way it is with all with all the stuff I have going on. I don't have I don't have uh, so much time for all of the nice things we are doing here on YouTube. But like I said earlier, might might be getting bigger, and then I will have more time. I will be able to tattoo a little bit less. But don't tell that to my customers; they will rip off my head. But I want to do more comic book style. I love it. You can see the cape is really, really cool. Um, the form is... It's just brilliant. I just followed along as you should do. It's very easy. But it looks so cool. It's 
really showing that there's a lot of wind. It's really flattening in the, flattering in the wind really hard. I love it. Really, really cool cape. And now this is my light box and this is my Bristol Board 200 series, which I will, uh, which I will use now to trace the whole drawing. And I will do some magic here in this video. And here we go. It's already traced, but you can't see it properly anyway, because it's just drawn in with a very hard pencil. I used a free H even. It's just it's just so I can see it properly, but you already saw how it's how it's done, and now we are at the inking process, as you can see. I'm using a Tombow brush pen, the green one in this case, that's the soft one that's harder to control because it's so soft. But it depends on how you feel. Sometimes I like to use the blue one, but if I feel loose enough, and it also depends on what I am actually drawing, if I'm loose enough, I prefer the green one. It's very soft and very easy going. Um, I sped this part up quite a bit because the most important part is done, and you can see where the line weight is even when I when I draw like this, like this fast. Um, but I think I think it's not necessary to to have this one in real time. It's it might be a bit boring, and I try to use a little bit of different formats for my videos. Sometimes I like to go real time. Sometimes I just have sped up versions. But mostly I do mixtures, and lately I I tend to go towards the real time stuff because you guys like it let me know down in the comments if you prefer real-time draw alongs or sped up versions because some some of you might not have the time to go and watch a real-time video but want to get all the information and of course if you want to draw along real-time might even be better but in this case I guess you will be able to draw this exactly like I did, even with the video right here. And of course there will be the in-between steps on my Instagram account, so you can use them for reference and you can always pause the video should you use this one to draw along. You can see the line weight is done so quickly with this pen, especially when it's sped up, but still um, I, don't, I don't need a lot of time to do this with a pen like that. And just I, I will do and try to find enough information or tips and tricks I can give you on line weight because some guys of you asked me to to do a video about line weight. Overall you can say when you go towards the light source your line is getting thinner and you can go pretty thick at some points and then and then fade out quite fast to a thinner to thinner line which makes a pretty cool style if you like it do it like that i love it but you can also you can also go not as thick if you like but in this case i was trying to stay true to the original inks from the drawing i i took this from and this is a micron pen oh and here we are already with um at the actual brush pen which is great if you want to cover big areas. Usually I use a pencil brush pen because the pencil has the advantage of not no smudging. It's it's drying pretty fast. This one it's actually also a pencil, but it's another one and I use different ink. It's working as good as the other one, but with this one I have to be more careful because it's not it's not drying so quickly. You can even see this on the video. You have to be extra careful not to smudge the whole thing, which can be totally messy. The nice thing though, the the drawing itself, uh, it, looks, it looks way better with this one because it's really black black. It's way more black than the other pendle one. Which doesn't matter at all when you scan it and then you turn up the contrast anyway. Uh, that's that doesn't make a difference if it's nicer looking on paper 
But if you are having, if you, if you are planning to put this on the wall, you might consider to get a very subtle black brush pen. It's it makes a difference. It looks really really nice. Uh, as you can see, we are at the hatching now, and the hatching lines are really very different than what I do usually. So I had to I had to check very often on how he how he hatches here and there but it's also a very cool style and if you like if you like Jim Lee's drawings you also will like his hatching style and it's it's lovely and it's not very hard to do a lot of those lines don't even have line weight you can go ahead and do a lot of hatching with just lines just as they are he does that quite a lot which is totally okay, whatever you like, whatever you prefer. But same here, if you want to use a little bit of a, of a different style, you can go ahead and draw everything exactly like I did before with the strong blacks and just do a little bit of different hatching. That's also very, very interesting to fool around with. But if you want to, if you want to produce the drawing, like I do here in the Jim Lee style, just follow along. And you can also use the reference to make sure that you got everything exactly right, like I did here. And with the hatching, of course, it's not 100% uh, as, the, as the original, because I, I cannot do everything exactly, every line like Jim Lee does, but that's not necessary. It's just, it's just a style you need to to do the same style and then then you're good. The ribs are very jagged. It's also a cool look. It's very different than what I would do usually. I like jagged forms, but this is this is way more jagged than I do usually. And just like that, we are almost done. A few more details and hatching lines here and there and that's it, fellas. If you are motivated and have time enough to share, you can Google Jim Lee Superman and you will find the image, I'm sure. And then you can draw in the background with all the buildings. But I signed it right there, so I'm done. Rocker after Jim Lee. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then please go and check out this video. That's where I show you how to draw like Jim Lee. An overall video, how to try and draw in his style. I think he is one of the greatest comic book artists we've ever had. So see you there my friends, have fun drawing, don't forget to draw every day and have a great day.